I'd impregnate definite. Totally. Yeah, I wanna throw around like a cheap tracksuit. Yeah, I wanna nibble those eyebrows. <laughs> Fancy a challenge. Double team, see who uh, pulls first. I went here. I'm not scared you might lose. Cut we're in an STD clinic. It's probably got fucking grout or something. Well, then it's your advantage, isn't it? You can start a conversation on grouty flange pipes, can't you? Burn it up, yeah. Yeah, rather you than me, mate. To tell you the truth, I feel a little bit left out. Yeah? Yeah. We usually share everything. Do you know what I mean? Obviously. A plentiful bounty, wouldn't you say, gentlemen? What's this in aid of, Jay? My sexual destiny. Your destiny is to have a posh wank. No, I simply mean that... We... Posh wank. <laughs> Total posh wankery, mate. Can you guys keep quiet? You're poshest wankers. <laughs> posh wank! For your information, I intend to have a sexual relationship with a woman very soon. The foundations of which will be monogamy and sensible precaution. Two concepts which clearly are alien to the pair of incestuous outfits. <laughs> you grow up! Oh, I'm sorry, Jay. Oh, you know we're really pissing about with you, Double J. Oh, what a summer. Class A's. One night stands, STDs. Cliff Richard would be proud, wouldn't he? Good times. Sure. Who needs Yoko, huh? Shut it, Ringo. Freddie McClare? We'll be alright. Yeah. No, this is a story of a girl who turned out wrong because she only loved things that couldn't love her back. So she began to hate the love that kept her alone and invisible.